And here we go. Let's take a look at your today I will so I can statement. Today I will define and explain characterization so I can create interesting, dramatic characters with clear goals and reasons. All right, character. Let's take a look at a couple different things before we actually get to the drama side of things. What is character? The definition of character is the mental and moral qualities of a person, the strength and originality in a person's behavior, or a person's good reputation. Now, if you remember back a couple of class periods ago, we said that drama equals action. So let's look at the first one, mental and moral qualities of a person. Mental means thinking. Moral means what they do. Are they doing the right thing or are they doing the wrong thing? But it's what they do. And remember, doing something is an action. We said drama equals action. So we have action in that first one. Bullet number two, the strength and originality in a person's behavior. Well, behavior is also an action. And then bullet number three, a person's good reputation. How does somebody earn a reputation? Well, they earn a reputation through their actions. So do you see how there is action in all three of these aspects of character, that's not a coincidence. Character lends itself to doing, to having action associated with it. Okay, so moving on. What is a character? A little different. We just talked about character, which would be the adjective. And now we're talking about a character, which would be the noun. A character is a person or creature that interacts with others within a story. There are different kinds of characters in stories and different ways to describe them. Characters possess traits, just like you guys. Those are personality elements that define who the character is. A strong character has really well-defined and easy to discern characteristics. What is character in drama? In drama, character means the personality or role an actor or actress takes on, meaning that they create that personality for the character even if the actor isn't that way in real life. So take somebody like Angelina Jolie. She played a character named Maleficent. Maleficent was you know, kind of evil. Okay. Now, Angelina Jolie is not an evil person in real life. In fact, I bet if you asked most people, most fans, you know, people who've had to work with her, they would probably say that she's a wonderful person. But her character in the movie is mean, evil, wicked. Okay. So the actor or actress does this sort of shift through something called characterization. Characterization is the way an actor develops and portrays their character. Actors use their acting skills to make this happen. That's why they go to acting schools and have acting coaches and things like that so that they can work on the skills needed to create a unique character. And they may show a character in several ways. Their movement, Okay, an older character is probably going to have a hunched back, maybe move a little bit slowly. A young character is probably going to have more energy and walk faster. Okay. Their thoughts. Now, we may not always get somebody's thoughts in a movie. Sometimes we can hear them. Most of the time we can't. But the actor who is playing the character needs to know what thoughts the character would have. And they need to try to put themselves in a sort of mindset where they're thinking the thoughts that the character would have. 
their actions. This is different from movement. Movement is how, actions is what. So what they're doing uh, can be just as important as how they are doing it. Voice. How does the character sound? Do they sound creepy and evil? Do they sound uh, happy and energetic? You can achieve that through your voice. Dialogue. This would be the words that characters say to one another. A character in London in the 1700s is going to sound a lot different and talk a lot different than a character in present day Kansas. So dialogue is important. They'll use different words. They'll, they'll say things differently. Costuming, how the character looks in terms of what they're wearing. Again, uh, is, are they wearing a pirate outfit? Are they wearing a tuxedo? Are they wearing an Iron Man suit? Okay, That's all going to make a big difference in the type of character that you as an audience member are perceiving. And finally, makeup you can make somebody look younger, older. Uh, you can turn humans into animals with horns. You can do a whole lot of different cool things with makeup. Now let's talk about goal and purpose. All characters have a goal. Having a goal just means that the character wants something or wants something to happen. The goal gives the character a purpose in the story. For the protagonist, the goal usually involves the character taking a specific action, doing something, like we talked about at the beginning of the video. For example, defeat the villain. That's a good goal. Win the championship. All right. Steal a car, that's maybe, yeah, don't steal cars, kids. Find the cure, there you go, that's a good one. All right, those are all example goals that characters might have in stories. So for any goal, there also needs to be a good reason for that goal. And a good character will have both. The reason is why a character wants to achieve their goal. Character reason is the purpose or justification for what a character wants or wants to have happen. It is the why part of the character's actions. So if the goal was the what, reason is the why. There should always be a strong motivation for a character or the audience won't care and the story will seem dull. When I say motivation here, I mean reasons. So characters need strong reasons for doing what they do. All right. So let's look at some of those goals again and give a reason for them. Goal, save the princess. Reason, win her hand in marriage. Goal, find the killer. Reason, keep people alive. Goal, win the race. Reason, prove everyone wrong. Now, when it comes to goal and reason, it can sometimes, especially when you're just getting used to the concept of goal and reason, it can be difficult to distinguish between which is which. But I have a trick for you. Use the phrase, so that, to separate the two. And if it makes sense, you probably have them in the right spot. If it doesn't make sense, flip them and see if it makes more sense. For instance, the goal, save the princess so that he can win her hand in marriage. You wouldn't say, win her hand in marriage so that you can save the princess. That doesn't make as much sense, right? Goal, find the killer so that we can keep people alive. Goal, win the race so that you can prove everyone wrong. So you see how using the phrase, so that, can be a nice little trick in helping figure out which is the goal and which is the reason. 
All right. You have an assignment on Canvas. Good luck.